right, here we go, guys. We are in Texas right now. We are about to board the plane to go back to California, get the SRT-10, and then drive all the way back. So just waiting to board, and then we'll get out of here. What is this? This is no Jeep channel. Uh -huh. <laughs> the cop car, car channel. <laughs> no more McDonald's. Where are you taking me? No more McDonald's. Oh my god, we go we're to. We're going to the house. Jeez, the yeah, house? Right. No, we're going. We're going. Let's go get some sush. Oh, hell yeah, go. Okay. Let's go. So we're at sushi. We got like five minutes to order more for round two, all you can eat. We got Chris, just magically appeared. We got John, we're gonna do this. Oh my god. Yeah, dude, dude, let's dude. go. This is it, I can't. You, you ordered a whole nother round? Yep. <laughs> there's still more though. Dude, why did you order so much? But there's yeah. more. But you wait, can. there's more. Dude, this is like 10 rolls already. You can, don't no, be 12, 13. Come on. That's it. Tripping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying laughing right now. <laughs> look at all the food that just showed up. Oh. We're almost like full. <laughs> he was like, look, that's all our food. And I was like, no, you're alive. <laughs> and then they start bringing it to us. <laughs> this is what happened. Like These guys have rolls. breakfast, lunch, and dinner <laughs> for the next day. <laughs> oh, and we're stuffed. That was up, though. way too much food. Yeah, we blamed it all on John and she felt bad for it, us. No, it was you, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, she pressured us, though. She did. So they let us in with 20 minutes <laughs> to eat and order as and all you can eat, and she didn't give us no discount. <laughs> we yeah, were at least she didn't charge us. So we were pressured <laughs> and we ordered way too many rolls. I think we counted like 14 rolls we ended up putting <laughs> there. <laughs> Not good. Dude. But, Anyway, she gave us the roll for free. She didn't charge us that first. Good. Yeah. We're getting out of here. All right, boys. So we are back in the garage for one of the last times. Um, it's late here. I'm going to get some rest. Um, this thing's pretty much ready to go. As you guys know, I don't know when it was, probably a few weeks ago. You guys saw we went through everything. We redid all the fluids. So it's got fresh fluids throughout the whole thing. Um, one thing I'm trying to figure out though, this thing, if you guys watched the, you know, mini build that we did on this, we put these black housing headlights on here and we also put in uh, Hikari LED bulbs. I had these bulbs on the Dakota and they worked really well, but on this, the light output on the actual bulbs themselves aren't that good. Uh, I might try messing with them tomorrow or I might just put the stock halogen bulbs back in, but... If I show you guys on the wall, there's a lot of dead spots. I have them before I even turn them on because I know somebody's gonna say it. The orientation of them is correct. They are straight up and down and the chips are on both sides. So that's the way you're supposed to put them. But if I show you guys the way they look, since it's best to do this at nighttime, uh, it's hard to see on that one, but you can look over here. If you look at the beam pattern, it probably actually doesn't look terrible on camera, but there's like, a lot of void there usually it looks better on my iphone but this isn't looking the greatest it might look actually pretty dang good on this camera but trust me it's not the greatest light output on the road so we'll see i might mess with it tomorrow i have like zero tools with me which is part of the other issue um they have like these weird little shields on them that i was going to take off it should uh open up the lighting a little bit more without um you know i don't think it's going to produce any extra glare but it might actually help a little bit I was gonna try to take those off. It's a little tiny Phillips screw, but I've got like nothing with me. But we'll see what happens in the morning. We gotta give this thing a well-deserved bath um, and then we can get out of here. I don't know what we're gonna end up doing tomorrow. I got some running around to do. And um, also might try to meet up with some friends before we take off out of California. We'll see what we get into. Let's cut to the morning. And just like that, it's the next day. It's sunny out. So let's get this out and give her one bath. And I'm pretty much done here and we can get on the road.
right, here she is. She's all clean and ready to party. I don't know how well you guys can see, but she's spotless right now. So most of the stuff is done. I just gotta do some random stuff today, a little bit of running around. Uh, I gotta go to the post office and like forward my mail and just some boring stuff like that. So I'm gonna get that stuff done and then uh, we'll see. We might stop off with some friends and uh, see what we get into. Maybe we'll go over to Sinister Stripes, but I don't know yet. Let me get some stuff done and I'll be back with you in a second. All right, well I went ahead and ran my errands. Let me show you guys, I know you guys are familiar with this space. We'll give you guys one last tour of the house since this is pretty much it, boys. So. I know a lot of you guys haven't really seen in here before. Maybe some of you guys that are longtime subscribers, you guys have seen this place, but this is where my desk and office was. I used to do all the editing and stuff in here. Here is the living room and stuff like that. TV used to be there. <laughs> Everyone's laughing about these. These are bamboo, like fake bamboo uh, trees or whatever. So it's kind of like some wasted space back there once I put the couch in, so put that there. Um, here is the kitchen area. So this is where my dining table used to be. Here's the kitchen. Put all new appliances and stuff like that in here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. And then back here, we got all new grass and stuff that we put back here. And this is the back. So this was the view from back here. You can see all the mountains and stuff. A really good view, honestly. Really quiet back here. And then walking around here, this was on the side, this is where I parked the trailer. So if you guys remember, like I said, the OG subscribers will remember, this was all pretty much dirt back here. And we put grass in, kind of did some landscaping stuff over there, and then put all this landscaping stone over here. Um, and then, yeah, that's out to the street, like you guys see there. I'll show you guys one more thing over here just before I go over there. This place is kind of cool. It has like two backyards. I didn't do too much on this side. Um, we just kind of left it the original dirt, but it's got all fruit trees in here or on this side that produce fruit. So also had a shed here where we stored a lot of spare parts because we had a ton of stuff. And then over here, you can see we had a bunch of fruit trees. So we have like, you can see here, these are like lemons coming in right here. Had all those. I can't remember which this one is. I usually remember what they are when they, I think this was like apricots here. This one, and when I first got the place, it didn't have like this drip system in and nothing was producing any fruit. So put that in and then we started seeing fruit and some of them are just about to start producing fruit for the first time. Um, in here is orange tree. You can see here we got little oranges and then we've got these here. So, Fresh fruit, boys, all organic. And then over here, this one's out of season. I think these might be getting them mixed up, but I know we have apricots. This one I know for sure is a plum tree. And you can see we got pomegranates as well. So we got all pomegranates in there. That was a fig tree, but I don't know what happened to it. But you can see here, all pomegranates. And then another pomegranate bush right here with a bunch of big pomegranates off of it. So that's pretty much it. Not a whole lot of a big tour, but Figured I would show you guys real quick anyways, because you know, a lot of you guys are probably interested to see, and then I'll show you guys what it looked like from the front. I guess I still need to show you over here. There was two bedrooms there. And then here was the master. Right here, walk-in closet right there. And then master bathroom here. So it was a cool setup, but we're gonna be on to a bigger place with a bigger garage and shop setup, which will be really good for us in the channel. So. Fresh fruit though, we're gonna have to make sure we get this on the next spot. So this was the setup, you guys. Redid all the front landscaping too. Cause again, this was all like dirt before when we first got this place. And that's it boys, that's all she wrote. Okay, I wanna show you guys real quick. I ended up adjusting the headlights and got them way better. So I just wanna show you guys just on the garage door, but got them a hundred times better. If you guys were watching my story on Instagram, uh, ended up messing with them at my buddy Goldwyn's house. Uh, looks like I have to either raise this one slightly or lower that one. It didn't seem too high, so I might be able to raise this one just slightly, but um, I'll show you guys in a second what I ended up doing, but it helped tremendously. Okay, so there we go. They're both the same height now. If you guys are wondering, you just take a Phillips, and right here, you just stick this in. It's pretty easy on these surgeons. You just stick that in, and you turn it, 
and it raises and lowers the headlight adjustment. So much better now. Um, I'll show you guys once we get on the road, but definitely able to drive with this now. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but they're clocked correctly, so they're straight up and down. So it should be good to go on those. And if you guys are wondering what I did to improve the headlights, I did a few things. I adjusted them, the fog lights, the LED fog lights that we installed. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it. But we installed these LED fogs. They were essentially pointed at the ground. They weren't doing much of anything. So I tilted them up so that we were actually getting projection down the road. So that helped with the light output. Um, over here, they have these little metal shields on the LEDs that we had installed. So I removed them because this actually has one of those same uh, shields in place. So this was essentially blocking, as you can see, it had this little cup and it was blocking half the light coming out of the LED chip um, and preventing light from going downwards. But you'll see this little cup right here and it's got that leg going in. The factory headlight already has something like this. So this was just blocking our light output further. Whereas the halogen bulb, it gives out and emits light, you know, all around. And then it has this cup that's um, doing the shielding. So I took these off. It definitely helped quite a bit. I think I might try HID in this at some point because um, we still don't get 360 degrees of light distribution out of these. So I think it would be beneficial to try that at some point. But if you're wondering what I did, I took these off, made sure they were clocked. They were clocked before and then I also aimed them and I aimed these and now we have decent light output. All right guys, so that's pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much a wrap. I wanna get this video up for you guys just so you guys uh, know what I'm up to. I'm about to crash out here in a little bit. Uh, I might actually go live with you guys. It's Friday night, so I wanna do one last Friday night live, so I'll hop on the live. But that's it. I'm gonna wake up early in the morning tomorrow. Uh, truck is full of fuel. It's all ready to go. It's all packed and I can just get straight on the road. So I'm probably gonna just wait till you know the crack of dawn type thing and just, hit the road. So that's what's uh, going to be on the channel next. So I will share the adventure with you guys going across the country in the SRT 10 and we'll see what we get into next. So once we get back to, um, you know, Dallas area and stuff, we'll probably go and get the Helcota, go have some fun with that and, you know, make some content on that, go for a drive, enjoy it and all that stuff. So a lot of exciting stuff to come. I'm excited for where the channel's headed. Like I said, it's a little bit unknown. Everyone keeps asking where I'm moving to. Uh, I'm not necessarily moving to Texas. I'm just storing my stuff in Texas for now. And then I'm gonna go out on the road, go on, on you know, a few adventures, check out different areas and do some home shopping and property searching. And then uh, we'll see where it ends up, wherever that ends up, wherever I can find the ideal property is where I will end up. Might be Texas, might be Florida, might be Arizona. We'll see, those are kind of where I'm searching right now and um, just play it by ear. So I'll share the whole experience with you guys. I'm excited, it's a little bit random, but it's kind of the joys of doing this as you know, I can work remotely from wherever. So I have that flexibility, so uh, it should be fun. Thanks for watching, give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content. What was the best part of this video? And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video.